are you ready to learn how to make some sandwich bread? I'm super excited to show you guys how to do this. It's very easy. And we're gonna start off with some yeast. I'm using active dry yeast, which can be used interchangeably with instant yeast. And note that I'm doubling this recipe in this video, so we're using two packets. Luckily, I was able to find this yeast. We're also adding sugar and warm water, which is warmed to 110 degrees Fahrenheit, and warmed milk, that's about a half a cup. And we're gonna whisk it really well to let the yeast bloom. It has to sit for five minutes, covered. And when it's done, it's gonna look a little bit foamy on top. So that's kind of what we're going for. Boom. So now we know it's ready. And we're going to add room temperature butter and flour and salt to start making the dough. So we're using, since we're using room temperature butter, I recommend using a hand mixer or KitchenAid mixer for this part because it's hard to mix it all together by hand. So I'm using my hand mixer that I've had since college that I love just for this part. The rest I'm gonna mix by hand. And then we're gonna add the rest of the flour. So in this recipe, I'm doing half white, half whole wheat flour. I will say that when you use all whole wheat flour, it can get really dense and dry. So I think adding in some white flour will make a better loaf. Mixing it with this special whisk that's used specifically for bread. I forget what it's called, but I will put it in the uh, description. You know the dough is ready when it starts to come away from the sides of the bowl easily. Boom. So I took out half the dough from that mix and I put it in the fridge for a different recipe, so I'm only working with half the dough we just made. And now I'm going to knead it. I recommend kneading for about three minutes. I mean, if you have a dough hook and a mixer and all that, you don't have to knead it, but I'm just doing it by hand. It's a great little workout and just flouring as I go so that the dough doesn't stick too much. By the way, if you've ever made a sandwich bread before, if you have any tips, tell me in the comments. I'd love to hear them. I've done this a few times with a lot of success, but we can always get better. So thanks for sharing in the comments. Now the dough has to rise. This is the first rise out of two rises for this recipe. I greased the bowl with cooking spray and now we're just going to put the dough inside and let it sit in a warm spot for an hour until it is doubled in size. I'm putting mine on my stove, all the ovens on, and then we have a nice rise there. So I punch it down and we're going to shape it into a loaf. So that involves rolling it out and then rolling it up and setting it in the loaf pan. I've played with this a couple different ways. It's really hard to roll this dough into a, like a rectangle, but we I just kind of made it work. Now it has to rise again until it is kind of risen past the edge of the pan there. We put it in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 to 34 minutes. And boom, it's done. Look at that. We have perfect crust on there. It looks so good. And then you can take it out of the loaf pan, let it cool. And finally, you can slice it. So you want to store the sliced bread in the freezer and then also on the counter. I wouldn't recommend storing it in the fridge. It'll get a little weird and you can easily just take out what you need from the freezer and let it sit on the counter until you eat it up and repeat the process. And that is homemade sandwich bread. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.